Welcome, advanced creators. Pathfinding is everywhere in Second Life. With Pathfinding, you can easily create artificial life forms and non-player characters without added lag due to performance throttling. Join us in building a new future for Second Life, alive with new possibilities that you create. In this video tutorial, we will be covering some advanced pathfinding scripting techniques. We're starting with the character that we animated in a previous tutorial. We gave this character a very simple stand animation with one position. So what we're going to do is modify the movement note card, eliminate that simple stand animation, and then we can add a more sophisticated sequence of animations. So we reset the Super Prim animation script and create the stand button using the assigned channel in nearby chat. And then we reposition our character's tail in a sequence of positions that act like keyframes. In each position, we are clicking the record and then the pause button. And when we are finished with the animations, we click the stand button. Then we can click the note card button to give us our new animation positions. We copy those into the movement note card in order to make our new animations persistent. Now we can show this new animation with some more advanced pathfinding scripts. First, let's examine this pathfinding script, which uses LL Wander Within along with LL delete character and LL create character to dynamically pause our character after it turns towards the next waypoint. At the top of our script is an if statement which handles all of the different path update events. At the bottom of the script is the path update event handler, which if it's a type one event, which is stopping at a waypoint, pauses, sleeps for a few seconds, waiting for the character to turn then deletes the character to stop the pathfinding motion and then pauses again for our character to exhibit its stand animation. The wandering behavior is then resumed. Let's take a look. Our pathfinding wolf is paused after reaching a waypoint and showing us its stand animation. The character then moves to the next waypoint and pauses again. The next advanced pathfinding script uses the LL pursue behavior along with LL sensor repeat to randomly choose an avatar to pursue. At the default state entry, this script creates a pathfinding character and then invokes LL sensor repeat with the agent by legacy name argument, which will trigger sensor events that detect nearby avatars. The sensor event handler at the bottom chooses a random avatar by number and then invokes the LL pursue function to chase that second life user. Let's take a look. The wolf is pursuing the avatar on the right, it has reached its destination, and is stopped and displaying the stand animation, wagging its tail. The Pathfinding Wolf eventually chooses the avatar on the left to pursue, moves towards that avatar, and then changes its mind again and moves back towards the avatar on the right. Now, let's look at the LL Patrol Points Pathfinding Behavior and how to establish waypoints so that our character can follow a predetermined path. First. We have this simple utility script, which we will put in a prim and res at our waypoints. Then, when we click the prims running this utility script, they will tell us the position vectors in nearby chat so that we can copy and paste those vectors into our patrol points script. This is the basic LL patrol points script with our vectors inserted in the list called points. After calling LL create character, the script then invokes the LL patrol points function using this list. 
Let's take a look. The character patrols to the waypoints in the same order that we clicked the prims with the utility script. Using technology, which is now available on the Second Life Marketplace, this is a very advanced pathfinding character with lifelike movements. Let's examine this further to better understand how this sophisticated character achieves the illusion of artificial life. The character's lifelike movements are based on only six animation sequences. The animations are created with external tools used to animate avatars. We have modified the open source control script which chooses the animations and invokes the pathfinding functions in order to show you each animation in isolation. When the character is far away from any avatar, it invokes the LL Pursue function and chooses the run animation and increases the character's maximum speed using LL Update character. When the character is near its target, it switches to LL Wander within pathfinding behavior and chooses the walk animation. The control script alternates between walking and standing behaviors. While standing, the character can randomly choose between three standing animations. You can create sophisticated pathfinding characters like this by watching our other Good Building Practices tutorials and consulting the guidelines on our Second Life Wiki Good Building Practices website. Thank you for tuning in and turning on your creativity. Please check out our other tutorials on the Good Building Practices Wiki. Always have fun and be awesomely creative in Second Life.